there, I'll be picking up frequently asked questions individually and answer it in a separate video. So let's get started. The very first question which is being asked again and again is whether we need to go for both the groups at the same time or individual groups. In my perception, it is always better for you to go for both the groups at the same time. I'll tell you, the main reason is undoubtedly carry forward system. And those who don't have an idea about it, I'll be giving a very simple example. Suppose you have given both the groups at the same time, like first group and second group, and it's your second stage of whether it's CA, CMA or any other profession course where this grouping system exists. All right. In such a situation, if you have scored like 240 out of 400 for the first group and a score of 160 out of 400 for the second group, obviously the passing criteria would be 50 percentage for each individual groups, right? So out of 400, in order to clear that group, you need to score at least 200. For the first group, you score like 240, which means 40 additional score. And in the case of second group, a score of 160, 40 score for each individual subject. 40 into 4 subjects, 160, all right? And you are still lagging for like 40 marks in that second group in order to get that aggregate to reach that point of 200. So in such a situation, if you have given both the groups together, you can carry forward those 40 extra marks from your first group to the second group. And the score for the second group would, would be like 160 plus 40, which is again 200. So instead of getting one group, you will be cracking both the groups at the same time. And that's the greatest advantage of giving both the groups simultaneously. The second scenario, if you have given your first group in June attempt and second group in your December attempt, then even if you have scored like 240 score, out of 400 for the first group, you this additional 40 score cannot be carried forward since you have given two different attempts for both the groups. This is the main reason why you are always advised to go for both the groups. Again, there are students in dilemma whether to go for one group or both the groups at the same time since the time is really limited to them and they haven't like gone through all the topics and the revisions are incomplete. In such a situation, you have to calculate or you have to analyze where exactly you stand in terms of your in terms of your preparation for your exam if you are prepared for your first group really well and you're confident enough that you will be cracking it for sure in such a case you are left with two more months before your exam two complete months where you can take a chance of at least going for both the groups by preparing for the second group you have to check whether you are left with enough time it could be at least two months two complete months Second point would be you should have taken classes for the second group, which is new to you. Taken classes or coaching, so you have completed it. You have at least have a minimum concept, clarity and basic understanding of each individual subjects of the second group. That should be there for sure. All right. And at the same time, you have to revise first group as well as you have to complete your new group. You have to study your second group thoroughly so that you will be getting both the groups in the same shot. First of all, you need to calculate how much hours you are dedicating for studies completely a single day. I'm just giving you an example. If you're a student who dedicate like for 10 hours a day for studies, you have to study like 8 hours for the second group and 2 hours for the first group for revising, for thoroughly revising first group. So in the 60 days, which means 2 months period, you'll be able to complete your second group really good, really well. Simultaneously, you'll be thoroughly revising your first group. Again, the chances of you cracking both the groups at the same time would be really high. So this is what you need to do. Again, depending on your caliber, the number of hours you're dedicating, your efficiency, your productivity, depending on it, this two months time period, which is a requirement, as I mentioned just before, may vary. Could be like one month for some students and it could be like around three months for some other students. Those students who are dreaming for a rank, for getting all India ranks, there is no choice out there for you. You just need to go for both the groups simultaneously. Then only you will be able to get a rank. Again, this is my personal opinion. The final call is always yours. Sit back, relax, think and then decide whether you need to go for both the groups or individual groups. I have already mentioned the advantages as well as the disadvantages of going for both the options. Now, finally, you decide. So that's it for today. For more such informative videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit that bell icon too. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.